Welcome back to the channel guys, Slav Squad here. Today we got a 2012 Can-Am 800 and uh, our concern is the plastics. The plastics are not in good shape. Uh, the black ones are pretty, you know, kind of scratched up, a little faded and everything like that. Um, you know, like this piece. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just don't like the color, how faded it is, how kind of beat up it is. The yellow plastics on it right here. And uh, we have some plastics that are good, other plastics that are pretty bad, like this one. If you see that discoloration right there. I already sanded all of these plastics down, the yellow ones, with 400 grit. And those ones right there with uh, 600, as well as the hood, just the ones that were more damaged and more faded, I sanded with 400. And I'm gonna take these to 600, 800, 1,000, 1,500, and maybe I'll go 2,000. I don't go. I don't want to go too crazy on it. I just want to make them smooth. And I don't want all the scratches to show. And uh, we have a little trick that uh, we learned from some people online. And to get the plastics looking good, supposedly with faded plastics, you take some boiled linseed oil and some paint thinner just from your local Walmart, and you mix it at a 60 to 40%. Uh, so I did 200 milliliters of um, the boiled linseed oil and 300 milliliters of the paint thinner. So we've already uh, got everything sanded down. So I wanted you to do the test. Number one is will it get that coloration out? And will it bring the shine back? Is it actually true? And uh, if it doesn't work, I picked up a heat gun. And what we're going to do is use the heat gun process to bring out the oils in the paint or in the plastic to uh, bring that shine back. The main concern is the get that white out of there. I want it all yellow. I want it nice and clean. And uh, as well as these plastics, I want them to shine because, I mean, the four-wheeler is in pretty good shape. If you look at the engine and everything. So we want the plastics to match it. So let's see if it works. Right now we're just gonna do a quick little test with the oil. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna sand everything down to up to 15 or 2000 grit. And we're gonna use the heat gun process. So let's get started. All right, y'all. So I wanna do couple of different pieces. I'll do this black piece that's all beat up. I still need to sand this down. Actually, I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do this one because this one does not need to be sanded down. And then we're going to do the yellow one as well. The main idea is that it'll pull the oils out and bring that shine back. And supposedly, it's supposed to keep it that way. This is not just like a one day hack, like putting the armor all, but this is supposed to last a long time. So I'm gonna get this all done real quick and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right, so that's all done with oil on there we're gonna let it sit for about 15 20 minutes and then we're gonna try to wipe it off see what it looks like but i mean if it stays like this it looks pretty good i would not be complaining if this works we'll give it the slav squad thumbs up yeah all right so this plastic is the one that i mainly want this trick to work for I'll be very pumped if it does, if it gets rid of that white. I'm not gonna do the whole plastics. I'm just gonna do it like right there. I need the shine. I'm gonna put this. Let this chill for a little bit. The 
the shine in the plastic if it stays shiny how it is right now over there let's get you guys a closer look the shine would be pretty awesome the biggest problem we got is that white in the plastic i really don't like i i don't know if i don't think this will take it away so i don't know we'll see maybe we'll end up just sanding it down to the yellow um or using the heat gun i'm gonna take the heat gun and try doing it like right there where my pinky is sorry if i'm holding this really weird right where my pinky is we're gonna try to do the heat gun there and see if that brings out the yellow or not i don't think this oil will it just brings out the shine real good while we wait we might as well do the rest of the plastics the black ones at least I did already wash these last night and let them sit and dry out. I'm gonna go ahead and get all these black pieces then. I'm not gonna do this one yet. I'm gonna sand all this down, smoothing it out. Peel these stickers because I'm gonna order new ones. We'll go from there. Actually, I wonder, see how this is all faded? I wonder if it'll br br bring out the color inside that. Let's find out. definitely shined it out a lot more. I almost feel like this is like faded on the inside. Looks pretty good. This works pretty well with black. I'm not gonna lie, and yellow, to be honest, but it just doesn't take the white out of the yellow as far as I've seen so far, so that kind of sucks. But it's okay, I'll take care of it. Not bad guys, not bad, not bad at all. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at this before and after. That's how the other one was before, this is the after. It's a pretty big difference. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Probably about 10 minutes. We're gonna wipe this down. Any excess. I mean, not bad. It looks like a pretty much brand new plastic. That's pretty freaking cool, guys. Works. Alright, so we're gonna get this heat gun set up. And see if it works. Yep. See if this will do the trick or not. Mm. What you look at here? We're gonna use the heat gun on all the plastic and then we're gonna sand it again 600 grit use the heat gun again sand it again to 800 use the heat gun again 900 or a thousand use the heat gun 1500 
it'll probably stop there but if we have to go to 2000 we'll do 2000 and that should make these plastics look like brand new so this is going to take some time but that's the plan so to get the white out of the paint that uh, linseed oil boiled linseed oil paint thinner not going to work but it will bring a shine and to be honest on this yellow plastic i wiped it off and the shine's not really there that much so we're gonna do all this and if the shine's still not here with this and sandpaper uh we're just we're gonna be polishing a little bit probably um if the shine's not there i'm gonna try the linseed oil on top of what we've done all right so it's been a couple of days i only really get like an hour hour and a half a day to work um i sanded this down all over again and this stuff that's on here it almost feels like a wax the white stuff and so i took a knife you can see all the scrapings scraped a bunch off then i took some uh general purpose adhesive cleaner and that's the only way i can sand because if i sand without it it just turns everything black and like sticky so i used that was able to sand so now I'm gonna spray or take the heat gun and try to heat this up again and see if this white will get better than it was before. But I have a feeling that we're on the right track and that that's the last time I'm gonna have to use the heat gun on this. But other than that, we use some of that oil and stuff to get on the rims, tire, whether that's gonna hold idea. I don't I don't really know, it just made it shiny. I liked it got it all over the plastics down here I mean this thing looks like it's brand new under here after all that these plastics are all ready to go heat gun on them and uh, that oil uh, linseed oil and paint thinner together I think it looks pretty good it looks like pretty new plastics uh, really liking it all that's coated this is uh, the rack, second rack's coated, all this stuff. I mean, everything is shining, guys, and it looks good. So, yeah, everything's ready to go back together, pretty much. So, let's see how that part does. And if that goes well, we'll end the video off here. Well, that's about as good, good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna apply, apply more linseed oil on paint thinner and dry it up and then we'll be good to go. All right guys, so this is the final product. I'm sorry for if it's loud out because there's rain, but as you can see, it looks good. Here's the other side. You guys remember, oops, raining on me. You guys remember this side, how it was all white and really ugly looking? Well, you can see in the light, this, the only downside about the heat and everything is it's, it's really hard not to get like the little heat marks kind of. When you heat one spot and it cools down and you move on to the next, it kind of leaves a spot. So it's like if you can throw the whole thing in the oven where it all heated up on its own, and shined it out that would have been awesome but that's obviously not possible so this is the the be next best thing there is one more thing you can do to make this this go away and the shine to be really nice and good and that's basically to buff it out and i've seen a lot of people do it and it looks really good you know i'm going to be hunting and everything on this four-wheeler so i'm not not really that anal about it but I mean, right now, the difference is night and day. This thing looks pretty much like a brand new four wheeler. It looks freaking good. Like, look at that. It's shining. Very good condition. Everything is, it looks really good, guys. I'm really happy with it. Slav squad approval. Yes, I am missing a headlight and that is coming today. I have a little odds and ends to fix. I got a new seat cover because the seat was super ugly and uh, then she's good to go y'all so super excited how this turned out if you guys want to do it yourselves that's the trick 
boiled linseed oil, paint thinner, gets a nice shine on the all the black. That's what I did. So all the black is the oil product, and it looks good. I mean, I can't complain. It looks really good. I couldn't really do too much with this for some reason. I used some heat on it as well, and I don't know why this plastic in general doesn't really do too much. But everything else, grill, everything worked phenomenally. And the plastics, I did the heat. I sanded them down. I used the heat gun. And then I used the oil on top of it. And the, that combination, perfection, y'all. So if this video has helped you guys, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. You know, follow all the other projects that we're doing. Everything that we've been uh, messing around with. All the engine builds, the pit biking stuff. And of course, we're going to be doing snowmobiling stuff. Is I just picked up a 2016 Polaris Axis 155 800 cc turbo, and I think it's gonna be fun. First time on snowmobile, so it's gonna be interesting. But I'm sure we're gonna get you guys some awesome footage of that stuff. So stick around for that. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video.